Hi everyone, I'm Aubrey Watt, and today I'm going to be doing a GIMP tutorial on how to remove an object from an image. Um, I was asked how to remove an object from a photograph, and it's actually quite difficult. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this picture of a barn, and I'm actually going to remove the barn from the picture. And now when we're doing this, what we want to do is really just to fill in the place where the barn is with the other background that should be behind it. And it can be a little difficult to make it look good. So I'm going to show you a couple of tricks that I have. The first thing that I'm going to do is to fill in the top of the barn with looks like some of these rocks over here. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in and then use the free select tool to just select a bunch of rocks. I'm going to copy this and then paste it. Notice this creates a floating selection that I'm just going to go ahead and add, anchor down. And I can do whatever I want with it, and I'm just going to have, go ahead and move it to the left there. And I'm going to do that again. Um, I'm just going to use Control c Control v to copy-paste, if you know that shortcut. So I'm going to paste another layer, the same one, and move it over to the left. And then I'm going to do it again. And then I'm going to go over and do the same thing, but with these trees. So again, using the free select tool. And I'm actually going to cut out this whole tree. Copy and paste it. Then anchor it down. Oh, and I just made a mistake that I've made a hundred times doing this. When I was selecting it, I was in the wrong layer. So you want to go back to the barn layer and then use the free select tool to select that. So copy and paste. And now I'm going to take that tree and I'm going to move it on over. Let me go ahead and zoom out a little bit. And I'm going to make sure that I match this stuff up. So here you can see the fence. I'm going to go ahead and match that up. And I'm going to paste it again. And again, move it over. Now one trick I have to making things look a little different is for this layer, I'm going to go to Layer, Transform, and then just flip it horizontally. So now it kind of looks like a different tree. And there's other things that we'll do to adjust it. Um, and instead of using the same tree, I'm going to go back to my barn layer and pre-select over here, this part of the tree and fence. Again, copy and paste, anchor it down, and then move it on over. So I'll move that here, and I'll paste it again, anchor it down, move it on over. You can kind of see we have the same sort of thing going on. We'll fix that later. And right here, let's see. I'm going to get another one of those trees, and maybe I'll just go back and get a little piece of... Oh, that's actually not going to work. Go back over here and get a little piece that doesn't have any trees in it. Copy and paste. And then move that over here. Again, making sure to match up the fence because that's the most important thing. You can see it doesn't match entirely, but that's okay. Now we're going to do the same thing, but with the ground. So I'm going to come over to the ground here. Again, make sure you're at the right layer, the original photograph. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy all of this ground. Copy and paste it. Anchor it and then move it on over. Notice I'm not going to worry too much about going up over the fence. We'll worry about that later. And again, I'll paste it. Another. And because I want it to look better, I'm going to do that layer, transform, and just flip it horizontally. Kind of make another blot here. And then over here, oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll come down and lasso some of this ground here so it looks a little different. The key thing when you're trying to remove an object and paste in some background is to make it so that you don't have too much repetition because that's how you can spot 
a photoshopped image because there's just a lot a lot of repetition all right so i'm gonna go ahead and put that ground right about here okay now i'm gonna go ahead and zoom out so we can see what it looks like all right so notice that the main problems that we have um, are the edges which are sharp and also you can see how it's going over the fence. So the way we're going to do that is by fixing it using masking. So for example, um, well, we'll start with the one, uh, the rocks on top. Here I'm going to right click, add layer mask, set it to full opacity. And then what I'm going to do is just use the paintbrush tool, set to a nice big size, maybe not that big. And I'm going to go around the edges to kind of soften them up. You can see how you can start seeing the rock behind it, and that'll help ease out the edges. And then I'm going to right click here, apply layer mask. And I would do the same thing for every single one. Add layer mask, add, go around the edge, apply layer mask. Right click, add layer mask, go around the edge, and apply layer mask. Um, with the trees, again, you can see how the edges are kind of showing. So you, you especially want to make sure that we're adding the mask to those. I'm going to go around the edges here. Right click, apply layer mask. really tedious. <laughs> oh, and you can see I did too much here. Um, so you can see the barn. So I'll control Z, change that. And I'll just go around uh, and we'll fix that later. You can see how the edges kind of blur once you do that. All right, this is where we really had some issues. Um, this one is overlapping the fence, so I want to be very careful here when I add my layer mask to go down at the bottom and make sure that the fence is showing. And I'll also go here, up, and you can see again, you don't want to go too far because you risk seeing some of that barn. You go too far. All right. Don't worry about this. We're gonna get rid of it later. Okay, and then down here again, you want to definitely go through. Make sure that we get all that fence. Oh, not too too far. Almost done. It's kind of a tedious process. I have much respect for people who spend a lot of time getting rid of things. I'm going to leave this little fence here. Actually, no, I don't want to leave that fence here. I'm going to go back and get rid of that. And you can change it just by changing it from black to white. And then it just adds it back in. Okay, right. go around the edge and around the bottom. I don't think I want that in there. Maybe just that little top bit. All right. Now zooming out, you can see how that looks. It looks a lot better. There's not as much choppiness, but there's still some places where you can see the edge. Um, the way that I do the, get rid of those is just by using um, the smudge tool. Um, before we do that, though, I'm just going to go to Layer and then do New from Visible. So it creates a new layer that kind of puts all this stuff together into visible layer. And I'm going to go ahead and move that to the very top. Let me do that. All the way to the top. 
All right, and now this is what I'm going to work with, um, with all of these pasted layers kind of put together into one thing. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. And for little things like that, I'll just use the smudge tool at a low opacity, maybe half opacity, and maybe a smaller size so that I can just get rid of any little stuff like that. You can see there's some artifacting. If you really want to be better with that, you can make a smaller brush size and that'll help you get rid of those. You can still kind of see the smudges, so I don't like to use that too much. Going over here and getting rid of anything that seems a little weird. Oh man, look at that barn. Look at that barn down there. We're trying to get rid of it. You can see the edges going here, just smoothing those out a little bit. And this is where if you have any big spots like here, you might want to copy and paste. Um, for example, you can lasso over here another piece. Copy and paste it and move that on over and do the same kind of thing where you add a layer mask and then just go around it so that it kind of fits together well. Uh, and we can merge that down to be part of the visible. We'll just smudge that edge in. But in general, that's how you do it. So now you can see we have this picture without the barn, and it looks pretty darn good. It doesn't look perfect, but it looks pretty darn good. So just make sure that you are copy and pasting as much of the background as you can and try to match it up as closely as possible using those layer masks to smooth out the edges and make things blend together well. So I hope this helps. Um, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you all in the next tutorial.